Great to have you there. What are we up to today? Well, we're going to take three different microphones and do a quick head-to-head -head on the audio channel alone. Starting with the Blue Yeti. Then we're going to do the Audio-Technica 8875R, which is an XLR microphone. And we're also going to throw in a slightly underperforming microphone, which is that of the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Now, why would we want to know which one is superior? Well, I guess the winner will take over as the primary microphone for recording audio for the videos on this channel. And uh, I will say the Yeti has been serving me really well. Two and a half years has done a really good job, but it's time for an upgrade. And this is it. So let's run through. Now, so far you're listening on what is the new microphone. This is the Audio-Technica 875R connected with an XLR cable to the solid state logic SSL2 Plus USB audio interface. Now, that's a really simple upgrade so far. It's connected through USB-C to the HP Z8 G4 and you're just listening to unfiltered audio right now. No processing. This is just the raw sound from the microphone. I've had to crank up the gain a little bit on the microphone settings, getting that phantom power to do its job, but that's how these microphones work. They need a little bit of zest. But uh, let's do the switch. Let's go to, to the Yeti. I'm going to switch off all processing. All you're going to hear is the raw sound. You may notice the volume drop. Put some timers up on the screen so you can keep track of these as well. But here we go. Let's make a switch. Okay, right now you're listening to the Blue Yeti. What a fantastic microphone. But there's absolutely no filtering, no processing. This is just the raw audio. How's it sound? Does that sound okay? Hopefully it's sounding okay. But let's not listen to that too long. Let's upgrade straight away. Now this is the Blue Yeti with a little bit of processing in Logitech G-Hub software where you have the ability to do a lot of fine tuning of your equalizer settings. And indeed, that's what I have done. I've tweaked the audio ever so slightly to enhance certain features. So hopefully that's sounding a little bit better already. But there's another level. We can take this audio and through some processing in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18, we can actually make it sound even better, which was this audio clip. But it doesn't stop there. Let's switch over to the new microphone without any audio filtering. Okay, this is the new microphone without any audio filtering. Hopefully it's sounding really good and hopefully the difference is noticeable, but it may not always be that noticeable. Hopefully it is. Shall we crank up the settings on this microphone? Well, right now let's add in a little bit of filtering. This is through DaVinci Resolve's Fair Light Modifier. We have lots of different settings that we can apply to the audio channel and right now I've applied a fair few filters to try and enhance the audio. Hopefully that sounds good by your ear. Okay, for a little bit of comparison, let's switch over to Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Right now the audio is unfiltered, so you're listening to the raw recordings from this particular microphone built into what is a rather capable webcam. I do use it for a lot of the footage that I capture but not usually of the products that's uh, using proper camera gear. But anyway, there it is. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Let's see if we can enhance the Brio sound ever so slightly with a little bit of fine tuning in DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully this is sounding a little bit better. That's a little bit of editing in DaVinci Resolve's Fairlight Editor. Okay, let's switch back. Well, by my ear, the SSL 2 Plus is doing its job really well. The Audio-Technica shotgun microphone is also doing a fantastic job. I'm quite happy with the end result. Naturally, this will improve over time as well as I fine-tune the settings and find even better sounding audio recordings. But if you have any comments or feedback, let me know. But thus far, very happy with this microphone. And uh, yeah, lots of these recordings coming out. Stay tuned. A little bit slow on the wheel, but eventually we'll get uh, more of these videos out. Stay tuned. Race Z Studios out.